Welcome to this new video. It is about spark lines and table for metrics in Power BI. This is one of the new features that has been updated in Power BI desktop. So spark lines are tiny charts shown within cells of a table or metrics that makes it easy to see and come back trends quickly. You can view this table. This is actually a metrics table. And here we have added the spark lines and the spark line columns also. And spark line itself, we are having two options. One is to display as lines and other is to display as columns. We have done the both respectively. Earlier, we used to see the trends with respect to the columns or line charts. Here, the advantage is that you can see the dimensions as well as the values with the, along with the trends. So it will be easy to compare. So this is the way to get the spark line into your table and into your metrics. You have to go to the values, you have to, have to select the measure and in that measure you will be getting an option of add a spark line and you can select that. The spark line window will be displayed and you can select the spark line column with respect to that window. So if this is not shown, you have to go to the options. So we have to take the options and settings and you have to get the options. And in this options, you can go and select the preview features. And in this preview features, you just check whether this spark line is enabled or what. If it is not enabled, you can enable it. So now we are going to see an example of creating a spark line table. So here we are having a data set. We are having some measures, measures of total revenue, total revenue, sum of all the revenue and the production cost with this with the multiplication of the quantity and the related production cost. We have a calendar table where we are going to take the years and we'll be showing, we have the product table, we are, we'll be showing the product name. So we'll take the table visual and in this table visual, we will be selecting the product name and this much product names we are having and we need to get the revenue of those products. So we will be getting the summarized revenue of these products and the total product revenue we are going to get. So here in this value column, we can see the product name is shown and the total revenue column is shown. In this total revenue column, just select on this arrow and here we can see add a spark line. So in this, you need to click it here. Now we need to get the spark line with of total revenue with respect to the years. So you can select the X axis. That is, it will be like almost like a line chart, isn't it? So the Y axis will be as usual, it will be the revenue and the X axis you can give. And we are going to give it as year, which is date, hierarchy and the year we are going to give. So we selected and we got the result. We got the result as year. And this is like, this is a line chart. You can format this chart. You can go to the format option. Down, you will be seeing the spark lines. And you can, you can select whether it is, you need it as a column or a line chart. Now we are going to show it as a line chart or you can select it as a column chart and you can change the data color also of that and select it with respect to that. At the same time, if you place it, place your cursor here, you can see, you can see the option. You can see the message showing that the total revenue by year range between 29.975.75.36. All these messages you can see. So this we have made it as column in Spark line. Now we will get the production cost of this product names. And these are the production cost of these products. And we will select a spark line for this production cost also. So you need to select this production cost measure and just select and add a spark line. And same thing, we're going to select it with respect to the year and just create the spark line and we got it. And in this spark line, we can format it as line chart itself. We can select the spark line from the right side. And here we have the option to select which column you need. And now we need production cost by year because we took the production cost. The other one is also there. This one is also. So we took the production cost by year we are continuing with the line chart itself and here itself we have another option called marker so we can mark the points exact so every point that means all the years we are going to mark it so we have marked it with respect to the years and of course we can change the type also we want a diamond type we can select it as like so this will be more visualistic than the normal table chart and you can see the trends easily by using these kind of spark lines in the table chart Hope this will be helpful to you. Have a nice day.